What's up, guys? This is message, the day message, 11. And hope everybody having a good day. And when it, um, I've been working on a sermon about um, in James and about the character of living. And I wanted to, it's a part that really touched my heart. Uh, that um, has really been popping out at me as I had listened to the whole book of James. And it's about what it says, swift to hear, slow to, s- to speak, and slow to wrath. And when we think about that, and let's take it piece by piece. And when we talk about slow Oh, swift to hear, and that we be careful on what we hear, and that we listen carefully, and that we listen carefully to God, and listen carefully to our parents, and listen carefully to our leaders, and listen carefully, because as humans, sometimes we get things mixed up of what we hear. And it don't sometimes register as clear. Then it's okay to ask, "What did you say?" And, oh, you know what I mean. You didn't understand what they you were saying. They were saying, and it's okay to ask. Can you repeat it again? And because a lot of times that can. My allergies uh, have been messing up, so I'm sorry about that. So, when we think about that, and allowing us to, to, to be aware of what we hear. And as we look at slow to speak, and when we slow to speak, what pops out at me with that is that we be we be careful on our tone, our tone on how we speak to each other because just like the radio and how it moves our body and when we are speaking to each other in different tones, it activates our emotions on how we're going to respond back. And when a person talking in an in angry mode, and what happens? It activates the emotion of anger, and we end up speaking in anger. Or if a person is talking in joy, and what happened? It activates the joy that's inside of us to speak with joy. And where we think about uh, the next part of slow to wrath, and that we be careful with our anger, and that we have that, that self control. Because we're too amazing to lose control and put ourselves in a in a world of trouble, and with these things, it it, it plays hand in hand. Because when we listen carefully, what happens? We bear to speak in a way that that pleases God and. In everyday life, because I mean, at the end of the day, we know that we do right is right and wrong is wrong, and we have to be careful how we we speak and how we li- listen more carefully, and so that way, what happen? It doesn't put us in a in a rage, and the anger explodes. And it'd be too amazing to put ourselves 
in in harm's way and because that's what end up happening because we are not listening carefully to each other and we're not speaking in a tone that that brings peace and that's what we see going on in everyday life because of our tone and how we speak to each other and not really caring like what people are saying. We're just hearing what we want to hear and we too amazing to continue to um, not have self-control. We're too amazing. We need to have that self-control better in our everyday living because that affects our character. That affects, uh, you know what I mean, who we are when we we don't have that self-control to, to listen better and to speak in a way that it brings peace to a, another person or it brings joy to another person. It brings that, that positivity to another person. And we won't have that wrath and with each other and I hope this encouraged you because it was on my heart to talk about this and plus my allergies is tripping my nose been stopped up so I hope this encouraged you because my nose is stopped up right now and then like Thinking about this really uh, made me think about this, that that we we do have to be be careful what we we listen to, and you got to be careful, you know what I mean, listen to the, the things of the Lord to help us and guide us. And helping us speak in a way that we can be aware not to, you know what I mean, show wrath. Because he don't want us to be in in a place that we don't need to be. Because he loves us so much. And I hope this encourages you that that we will let's go for me too. That we be swift to hear, slow to speak, and slow to wrath. And I love you. God bless you. Peace. God bless.